Hello, my name is Aaron Sutherland and I am a SUSE certified instructor. I recently obtained my SLES SCA certification and today I would like to talk to you about how you too can obtain your SCA certification. The SCA certification is the SUSE certified administrator certification. To start with, we need to navigate to the SUSE training site at training.susa.com. To see a list of all the certifications, we click on the certification link. Here we see a list of all the certifications that are currently available. We are looking for the SCA in SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 15. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click on the link to register now. This page shows us the details and objectives for the certification. Here we can see things like any prerequisites. We can see things like the exam is question based with 70 questions and we will have 90 minutes to complete the exam. For us to pass the exam we have to have a 70% or better and the exam cost 149 US dollars. We can also see a list of all of the objectives that the test will cover. Now, let's take a look at the courses that are available to help you prepare for this certification. Here we're going to scroll back to the top of the page and we're going to click on Courses. This page shows us the different learning paths that are available. And as you can see, we do have several learning paths to choose from. What we are interested in for right now is the SCA certification. To find a class for the SCA certification, we need to click on the Enterprise Linux Learning Path. When we click on the link, we are presented with a list of the courses that cover SUSE Linux Enterprise Server. We are looking for the Administration course, which is the SLE 201V15 course. We go ahead and we click on that link. This next page shows us the course details. For instance, we can see that this course can be attended in either a classroom, whether virtual or in person, or this course can be attended through an e-learning module. We can see that the course is four days and it's designed as a beginner level course. And if we scroll down just a bit, we can see the objectives for the course, followed by a course outline. Once you've determined that this is the correct course for you, you can locate a list of online or on-site classes by scrolling to the bottom of the page. And if you don't see a class here that's in your geographic region, you can scroll up and click on the Find a Training Partner link. This page shows a map of all the regions where we have training partners. So you find your region and then pick the training partner. If you prefer to take a self-paced e-learning class, you can find that by clicking on the back button in your browser and then clicking on the e-learning link. Here you can purchase a subscription for e-learning and then you can consume the class contents on your own schedule at your own pace. Now we're going to go back. Once you have attended the class, whether you've attended it virtually, on location, or by using an e-learning subscription, the next step is to take the exam. To take the exam, we need to click on Take an Exam Online. On this page, you click on the Here link to create a SUSE account. And once you've got your account created, you can click on this link here, the Certification Exam Platform link, to go and register for the exam. I hope this has been helpful and that you have enjoyed watching. Please feel free to let me know should you have any questions. And thank you for watching.